So a very warm welcome to you from the Catalan capital, Barcelona. We are at this grandest of stadia, a fitting home to the giants of the world game, FC Barcelona. And our live game is Barcelona against Rome. I'm Peter Drury and I'm joined in the commentary box by the familiar figure of Jim Begley. Well, thank you very much, Mr Drury, and hello to everyone. Barcelona have elected to go 4-3-3. Yeah, and a system that relies on an industrious midfield to cover the ground. the whistle and here we go Sergio Busquets goes wide strong challenge but well within the laws Suarez pings it out wide Perotti and it's Strutman Checo Pique goes looking, now the counter, he's left his man, can he find a, he'll have a dip, what a wonderful goal, and some of the best managers I played for insisted on starting games as you mean to go on, and we've just seen a very important opening goal from an extremely talented individual who looks primed for more, he really does look at it. Well, none of us were exactly sure how that was going to end up then, but I'm delighted to see such a, a happy ending after such a splendid dribbling run. I mean, he really did fool that defence into wondering what he was going to do next. Roma trail at this early stage. How will they respond? Perotti. Checo, Pastore passes it through, Rakitic tries to get it forward quickly, some excellent tackling here and that one a perfect example, he's gone for it and he's there to make a great save, the keeper really dug out his defence then, a magnificent effort, managed to get it away, Suarez plays it backwards, and they'll try again. And he heaves it forward. Checo. Pique. Little doubt, that is a foul. No second thought, a straight red card. Barcelona, already a man down in these early stages. That has left the boss thinking about what harm it has done to their chances. Rossi plays it out to the wing, and he's cut it out. Looks to slip it through, brings it forward, going through. Checo and scored inside the first ten minutes to give them a 1-0 lead. Florenzi tries a through ball, now it's Strutman. Cut out in the nick of time. Philippe Coutinho. And it's Luis Suarez. Suarez with the ball through. He's got away. Dembele goes for goal. Florenzi. Pastore. Al-Sharawi. Kolarov. Now he's wondering who wants it. Messi, now the pass. Now it's Luis Suarez. Messi. Can he score? Oh, wow! An absolute pile driver. He's got himself a pitch of a goal. Unbelievable. 
A two-goal lead, and they're firmly in control. Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Barcelona take a two-goal lead and things should be comfortable from here on in. That second goal has such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. And he's there to hoof it away. Messi has come loose. And it's Messi. Shapes the shoots. And it's hoisted clear. That'll be a throw. Messi has a hit. Keeper's got good distance on that. Titi cuts it out. Forward it goes. Al Sharawi. Luis Suarez. Strip. And it's Jekko. Al Sharawi. Rakitic. He's given away a free kick. And the referee has shown him a yellow card. Sometimes a loose foul can trigger a completely different spell of play and uh, it makes even less sense. Suarez is fouled. Rakitic. Perotti battles to win it back. El Sharawi looking to penetrate opposition lines. Strip. Now it's Jekko. Looks like a good ball through. Strutman. El Sharawi with a beautifully timed run. Dembele. It's a fine run and he's happy to keep going. Timely intervention. <laughs> and that'll be the last act of the first half. Reflections on the first half? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first-half success with a, another show of strength? Barcelona sitting pretty here at half-time, 2-0 up. We're probably into the second 45 minutes. Can he put it away? Oh, superb from Dzeko! The second half... That bit easier. This is threatening to become a really good game. A scoring early in this half just takes the pressure off now and allows them a chance to be a bit more patient in trying to level things up. Has a swing at it! Yeah, just thinking about the goalkeeper again, he really had to be at his best, didn't he? He's gone out for a throw-in. Federico Fazio. El Sharawi plays it wide. Kolarov. He's left his man. Hits it. Perotti. He's done very well to get to that. 
Well, as Tesco, Peter, the keeper has just received an A plus grade. Now the pass. Going through. Shoots! And he comes up trumps again. it away oh it's diehard defense and the willingness to put his body on the line very impressive tries a through ball he's through the middle it's Jekyll oh great save real class well you can't ask for much more than that a difficult moment he simply had to deal with Messi he's on his way hits one on the ball down it's wide, but only just. Oh, how close was that to going in? It only required the smallest of tweaks. Oh, he really wanted that. Yeah, he's been at the centre of a lot of things, hasn't he? Uh, mostly good, I should add. Messi with a long pass out one. And the shot! Oh, and they really should have been made to pay. Well, the work rate to win the ball back was fantastic and it set up the opportunity. That's great effort. And Nolas knocks it away. He's had a go! deserves a little bit of sympathy here because that's a goalkeeper's nightmare it's it's clear that the keeper was unsighted by his defense and by the time he picked up the flight of that it was too late Barcelona take a two-goal lead and are looking good for the win. Look, this position ought to convince them to increase their lead. I think they should uh, be really positive about this now, Peter. Now it's Pastor. The shot's on! Good stop. That wasn't easy. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. He's got away. Looks to slip it through. Messi. Dembele. Goal kick. No. I stand corrected, it's a corner. And that's been leave it clear. Is it in? A whisker high. Look, I'm sure he'll deny it, Peter, but the keeper didn't have that covered. It so nearly came off for him. Well, Peter, I think it's fairly obvious he's one of the biggest influences out there. Oh, that's a pop! Away. Well, that defence just wasn't expecting their midfield to mess up then, so when they did, they were caught completely cold by such a swift breakaway and such a well-worked finish too. Barcelona lost themselves into a three-goal lead. Passes it through. Looking to shoot. They've scored! More and more and more and more. They are running riot. Look, there just wasn't much of a gap to begin with and to find it I think it was a fine drive and I don't think the keeper could have really planned for that I think he's a bit unlucky in that instance his second of the game 
and an eye now for the hat trick. Barcelona tear their opponents apart once again. They are utterly ruthless. Pastore. Out to the left it goes. Looks to slip it through. Well positioned to make that interception. Uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. The movement was good, but the pass lacked authority. Uh, a cause of mild frustration. Hooked out to the wing. And he's there to cut it out. This defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line. Frighten the people getting in behind. Yeah, absolutely. It just opens up the opportunity of not only strikers getting behind, but the runners from midfield too. And Titi. Aimed low and direct. De Rossi floats one over. Ter Stegen catches it safely. And it's Messi. Kolarov. Over to the left. Kolarov. Looks like a good ball. Shot a goal! Keeper always had the measure of that. a change that was in the offing. Last one allowed. Messi taking his leave here. Great lead! The whistle has gone and it is all over. Barcelona a class apart. Opponents torn apart. They are comprehensive winners. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? 